When most people learn history in school, it feels like a jump. Ancient Greece, ancient Rome, then suddenly, the Renaissance. Nearly 1,000 years in between are rushed, simplified, or barely mentioned. This period is often called the Middle Ages, and many students are left with the impression that nothing important happened. That idea is wrong. The Middle Ages were not a dark pause in human progress. They were a bridge, one of the most important bridges in the history of knowledge. So why were they skipped? The answer begins with how modern education systems were created. In the 19th century, European nations rebuilt their school curricula to support national identity and progress. They emphasized ancient Greece and Rome as the classical foundations, and the Renaissance as the moment when Europe supposedly rediscovered knowledge and moved forward. For that story to work, the Middle Ages had to be portrayed as empty. But in reality, knowledge did not disappear after Rome fell. It moved. Scholars preserved these works, corrected them, expanded them, and added entirely new discoveries. During the Middle Ages, algebra was developed. Algorithms were formalized. Hospitals became scientific institutions. Astronomy became mathematical. Optics became experimental science. Mechanical engineering advanced through water clocks, automata, and precision instruments. Yet much of this work was written in Arabic, Persian, Syriac, and Medieval Latin, languages that later European school systems did not prioritize. When Renaissance scholars accessed this knowledge, it often came through Latin translations, detached from the original authors and contexts. Over time, the focus shifted to the translators and later European thinkers not the medieval scholars who preserved and expanded the material. Another reason the Middle Ages were skipped is institutional survival. European universities continued uninterrupted from the late medieval period into the modern era. Many major centers of learning elsewhere, Baghdad, Cordoba, Cairo, suffered destruction through invasions, political collapse, and economic shifts. When institutions disappear, memory fades with them. What survives gets taught. What is lost becomes footnotes. There is also the problem of specialization. Medieval scholars were polymaths. They did mathematics, medicine, astronomy, engineering, and philosophy at the same time. Modern education prefers clear categories, which makes these figures harder to fit into standardized textbooks. So instead of teaching continuity, schools taught contrast. Ancient brilliance, medieval silence, Renaissance rebirth. But history does not work that way. The Renaissance did not appear out of nothing. It was built on centuries of translation, experimentation, and scholarship during the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages were not skipped because they lacked achievement.